Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're on Steph's porch and we're sharing how we made the succulent holder. One thing I want to mention is in the video we talk about wanting the shelves to line up with the slats in my vinyl siding. So here you can see that's what we're talking about. Let's get started. We're using two 1x6 foot boards and one 1x6 foot 8 foot board. We're cutting the 8 foot board into three 26 inch shelves. The 6 foot boards were cut to 61 inches. These measurements ensure that the shelves line up with my vinyl siding once this is in place. These boards are a little wider than my miter saw, so I'm using the sliding feature of my saw. Each shelf will hold four pots, and I'm using our Craig Multimark to get everything evenly spaced. Then I traced each pot. The pots are four and a half inches across, so I'm using a four inch hole saw in which the pots will fit. This Milwaukee hole saw was the perfect choice to make a clean cut through the entire board. You'll see I have a scrap piece of wood underneath, and this is to help prevent the backside of the hole from getting tear out. After I cut the top board, I just traced the cut hole onto the next board and continued on to cutting all three boards. While I was working on that, Mom added a primer of DecoArt gesso to the pots. Then she painted them with a dark turquoise DecoArt acrylic paint. To attach the shelves to the sides, we're just using a corner brace and again the spacing is based on where it will hit my vinyl on my porch. We marked where the holes needed to be and drilled pilot holes. The brace was a little hard to get to so I used a flexible shaft to attach the screws. We attach the shelf to one side and then attach to the other side. We could have also painted these corner braces, but we forgot to do that. Here it is, time to check it out in the space. Once it was in place, we realized we had the opportunity to cover up this wiring that I've always hated the look of on my porch. So we found some extra scrap wood in the garage, cut it to size, stained it, and put it into place. This one here we're using as a shelf for extra storage. Then we glued and brad nailed each slat into place. The top shelf is gonna be lower than the top slat, so you can't see stuff that's placed on the shelf. Again, we glued and brad nailed everything into place. And then we checked it out and so happy that it covers up all the ugly cables now. Lastly, mom filled all the pots, adding some rocks for drainage and to keep the soil from coming out of the pot, soil, and then the succulents. The color of the pots corresponds with the blue in our new pillows. What we learned. This is the second of two builds we made for our recent project with the Home Depot and we did it really fairly quickly and because of that we weren't as mindful of the construction and it is a little wonky in places but you know what it's rustic so it is okay. Mm -hmm. Now one of the game changers here is I was actually going to cut out all the holes for the pots with a jigsaw and I was ready to do it but then mom was like um why don't you just get a hole saw and I thought oh yeah yeah you're right. 
So it would have taken way more time and the holes would not be perfect at all if I would use a jigsaw. So I'm really glad we got the hole saw and we have used cheaper hole saws in the past but our piece of advice is get quality hole saws because they will work way better than cheap things and save you a lot of frustrating, uh, frustrating time. So our two favorite brands are Diablo and Milwaukee. We have both of those and we love them. They're great. Now we had a lot of discussion about how we were going to actually utilize this in the space. We really wanted to hang it on the wall, but then we thought we don't want to put holes into the vinyl and we don't want to put it, hang it from the ceiling. So that's why we decided on a freestanding unit. Now if you're concerned about, if you have little children concerned about it tipping over, there are furniture tipping kits that you can get that you can secure to the wall. We don't have that issue here, so we're okay with the freestanding. If we were to do this again, we would probably make this shelf here that we added last minute a little bit deeper just so we could put more stuff in here that you wouldn't be able to see. But we're really happy with the fact that it is recessed a little bit. We haven't put anything on it yet, but we're excited to fill it up. Um, and I'm super happy with how this kind of last minute slats on the front really hide the cables underneath. I love technology, so with the more technology, the more cables, and the more I have to figure out how to cover them up because they're not pretty. Uh, so I'm really happy with the solution. This is finally like made it nice and pretty and I don't have to look at those cables and I still get the benefit of some smart devices out here. Now one thing to remember is don't forget to paint the bottom of the pots. I did that and when we put them up here it's like, <laughs> oh you can see those. So as you're painting the outside, uh, the sides, be sure to do the bottoms. And if you want to see the reveal of the whole porch, you can check that out on the Home Depot blog and we'll put a link to that below. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.